What's going on everyone? Adam here with Six Bar Coffee Gym and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at water filtration. What it means for you as a barista or a cafe owner and how it can mean better flavour for your coffee as well as better protection for your machine over the long term. Before we get started I'd like to say thanks to the team at Brewtech for today's t-shirt, hashtag not a sponsor, and also a reminder that while we may primarily be looking at BWT as our example today, this is not a reflection or a review on their product, but rather just an example of the types of water filtration that we use in the industry. I'd also like to ask, if you're interested, please like and subscribe to the video, because we'd love to have you along for the journey with the rest of the videos we bring out. So, let's take a look at water filters and what it means for you. So, why do we filter the water that goes into our coffee machine? Well, initially, there's two reasons. First, it's taking the bad things out, and second, putting the good things in. Initially, as water enters our boiler and begins to heat, we must ensure that all of the bad potential minerals that are remnant in mains water are stripped from that water before they have the chance to activate. This means that lime scale and calcification are reduced. What this means for the long life of your machine is that you won't have buildup and you won't develop cracks in that boiler or any of the components therein. Ensuring that you correctly filter your water means that you'll get a longer life out of your machine with less buildup, less blockages and less issues. The choice of what water filter to use is largely based on the sheer amount of volume of water that needs to be filtered. A busier venue might require a slightly bigger system or a more developed system such as reverse osmosis to ensure that the amount of water that is coming through can be handled correctly and equally stripped down correctly. As we step through these systems from the V to the M to the XL, we make our decisions based on the requirements of that machine. Additionally, beyond volume, we're also looking at where these machines are located. Typically, from suburb to suburb and state to state, there are different levels of hardness and quality of water. So our choices of which filter to use will be determined by those factors. Now the second part is then introducing the good quality back into that water. Our filters not only strip out the bad, but they also re-inject the good. The key is to ensure the right mineral composition so that the flavour of the coffee can be optimised. Introducing things like magnesium into water means that a fruity coffee has the potential to be even fruitier. Introducing the right calcium mix can take a chocolatey Brazilian coffee and make it even chocolatier. So it's about finding this perfect balance. Next, we'll talk about which filter to use based on size and the amount of volume required. Now, as I've said, typically we're choosing the type of filter according to the required volume that filter will put through. Initially, something as simple as a single boiler coffee machine, something a little bit easier to use, will only require a best protect V. Now at the lower end, these can be interchanged every six or so months, again largely dependent on that volume. It is important to remember that the volume of coffee does not equate to the volume of water going through the filter. Even an unused machine over time will evaporate water based on the heating cycle and the steam, and so regardless of how much coffee is going and how much coffee is being sold, the water is still running through the machine and we do have to consider that that filter is being used over that time. As we step up into multi-boilers or dual boiler machines, as well as higher volumes, we'll move ourselves through a Best Protect M or an XL for the much larger volumes. These also allow for an even longer stage of time, so while we might change these every six months, these might last even up to a year. Now the next question that might arise from many potential cafe owners is what is RO and when should I use that over one of these systems? Now reverse osmosis is a fantastic way to ensure the best possible quality of your water supply. It's about stripping out absolutely every fragment of the worst possible outcomes of that water and re-injecting exactly the right mineral content. Water filtration through an RO system is second to none. It means that the outcomes for your machine are the best possible and you will absolutely get the longest possible life. 
The downsides to RO, however, is that as a system, RO ejects any of the bad filtered water. Once it is built up a certain amount of bad water, it is consistently ejecting that out of the system. Now let's say hypothetically you are running a cafe on a cart and that you're running that exhaust water into a bucket. Typically, if you're running into a bucket for your output water, on any standard machine, you're only really ever dealing with the exhaust of each of the heads. So the busier you are, the more that you're going to eject bad water through your coffee drain. However, with an RO system, every few minutes, a certain amount of liters of bad, unfiltered water will then be ejected out of the system. This means that on a, on a cart or a system that requires a bucket as your output, you will be going through much more water and ultimately emptying that bucket much more frequently, regardless of how much coffee you're doing on that cart on that day. So in some cases, RO units are not, unfortunately, available to be used. Additionally, a large part of our RO units is the cost. Compared to a system like this, which may be one to two hundred dollars, up to three to four hundred dollars, an RO unit typically is over a thousand dollars. So as an initial startup cost, this can be quite affecting on the decisions of a cafe owner. Just remember to think long term when it comes to your water filtration, and that ultimately spending thousands over the course of many years on fixing your machine time and time again could have been negated by initially installing that RO unit. It is truly about spend money now to not spend money later. It is part of a decision process that every cafe owner has to go through. Now the last thing we want to talk about is knowing the limitations of a water filter system. Remember that there is a lifespan of these filters and that part of the change you might notice over time is the flavour of your coffee. This can ultimately be reflective of the roast, it can be reflective of the ingredients of that roast, but at the same time it can absolutely be reflective of the water filter. Not only are we asking these filters to strip out the bad, but also to re-inject the good. Over time, the mineral content in these filters will come down. Eventually, as you start to notice almost a bland flavour in your coffee, it can be that the retained amount of magnesium, of calcium, of all the good things, has started to wane. This is an indication that it is probably time to change your water filter. It is important to use any water filter's av availability of writing the date of when it was installed so that you can keep track of when it needs to be changed. Most water filters will be available for reading online as to how frequently they should be changed or when it might be required. It's important to keep an eye on that date. Additionally, it must be noted that water filters can't strip out certain things. We have had it in the past where nearby or local roadworks and waterworks has caused the colour of water inside coffee machines to change. We've seen from green to red to brown come out of our customers' machines and remember that the colour of the water may not be reflective of the flavour. It is important to note that when this happens, yes it can be a scary thing, but ensure that the water flavour hasn't changed, your teas might look a little bit odd, but that doesn't mean the water filter is not doing its job of ensuring the bad minerals are taken out and the good minerals are put in. Keep an eye on your water and ensure that it is the best quality you can have so that your coffee can be better, faster and stronger. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.